To high school sports, led by medalist Mackenzie Howard, Notre Dame wins the Canton Girls Golf Regional, and Uhi is the Lincoln Regional Champion. At Windy Lake, Brack in a two-way section of regional in Galesburg, and Pekin's Cami Jarville rolls home this putt, helps her team to a third-place finish. Morton is the regional runner-up. Peyton Hayes leads the way with an 88. And your regional champion, the Dunlap Lady Eagles. Look at Kalise Morris navigates this win nicely. Dialed in on this wedge shot. She shoots an 84. She's the runner-up. And the medalist is Dunlap sophomore Sydney Hunt. Delicate shot off the second green here. Played nicely. She shoots a 77. And Dunlap is the regional champion. A big soccer matchup in the middle line. I battle for first. It's Dunlap at Washington first. Half Washington throw by Elliott Westein. Look at the save by the defender, Sam Ott, to keep this a scoreless match. Just three minutes to go. It's still 0-0, and Yash Kulkarni takes a shot to the head, keeps his wits about him, sends the ball down to Jackson Orris, who heads it to himself, wins the race to the ball, and wins the game with the goal. Dunlap's in first after a 1-0 thriller. Notre Dame staying undefeated in Big 12 soccer. The Irish playing host to Peoria High. Caden Hudson scored on his first two shots of the game. This one gets through a host of Lions defenders and slips by the keeper. And then Thatcher Hogan scored a hat trick in the opening half. Brilliant blast to the back of the net here. This makes it 3-0. And then Hogan behind the defense. He's going to score again. Notre Dame a 9-0 shutout winner over Peoria High. Normal West brings it 19-2 volleyball team. To Peoria to play Richwoods tonight. West takes the opening set. Laney Thompson to Eden Hofferman off the block and the point for the Wildcats. Richwoods' Ellie Yurick sends it to Ella Merritt Ahonda. Tips that one over nicely, but West would win in two. It's Thompson to Ellie Rink for this hammer. West is now 20 and 2 after a win tonight at Richwoods. Washington hosting Morton in a key middle line volleyball matchup. Potters take the opening set. Carly Whitaker to Hannah Newkirk. To Rebecca Stock. It's a 25-23 Morton win. Washington comes back in set two. Addison Mueller with the block here. Panthers force a third by a 25-20 count. Went back and forth on that third set. Cade Bishop with the back set to Audrey Hertz. Panthers win the third set of the match. 27-25. A win for Limestone would keep the Rockets in a share of the middle line I lead with Washington. It's Limestone and Canton and this is Limestone's Bryn Williamson setting up Neil Lamberti for that kill. Same combo here, but it's Lamberti to Williamson this time with a nice little dump shot over. The Rockets sweep Canton. It's Hannah West at the net for the block and the point. And Limestone stays in first place, tied with Washington after a home win tonight. Metamora travels to Dunlap in volleyball. Dunlap's Veronica Lopez to Sam Matheny, who's going to drop that one over the point for the home team. But Metamora with a nice road win. Alert play here by Kaylee Shishelsky. She has sent it back to the corner for a kill there, and then it's Eddie Pacia for the kill, and it's a two-set win for the Redbirds. Great small school volleyball matchup. Eureka plays host to El Paso Gridley. EPG's on the attack here. Isabel Axelson there for the Hornets block, though. The Titans, however, would answer. Eliza Meese gets the ace for the Titans, and they take the opening set. And then it's a complete sweep of Eureka. Taylor Langland sets up Abriel Smith for the kill. Nice road win for EPG in the heart of Illinois Conference. Briefly, 